welcome to my channel. I am shooting this as part of Vlogmas, and here comes my corgi. You can't see him because he's too short. Hello! His nails are so long. Actually, both of my dog's nails are really long because I canceled their grooming appointment. I actually just rescheduled it just because of the dog mystery illness that's going around. There has been a case in Montana, and I know, like I read articles saying that those who are more at risk are the, are the dogs that have pre-existing conditions. And even though they don't have any, you just never know. So we will have my dogs looking like beasts for a little while longer. Anyways, I am shooting this video as part of Vlogmas. Even though it won't be titled Vlogmas, it will still count as part of the Vlogmas days. So I'm not sure when this will be posted yet, but I wanted to go ahead and shoot it while I have time because once I get off from work, it is just so dark and just not ideal and the quality just isn't there. So I have two new bags to show you that you've already got a little preview of during regular Vlogmas videos, but here are the two new ones. I got this Tory Burch Kiva Small Chevron. I'll get the exact name in a bit. And then here is this one from Amazon. It is a Hermes Kelly inspired bag. And I wanted to do a dedicated video to these two bags because I thought it would be fun to do a little close up and a little more focus on these bags. This is just my initial first impression. I've used each bag once so far and I am really excited for the future with these bags. So let's go over the one I got first. It is this Tory Burch and the name is Small Kira Chevron Convertible Shoulder Bag. So I got this because I, you know, I my dream bag is a Chanel and I just don't think I'm ever gonna get there. I also like Birkins, but I just feel like that is definitely out of reach for me. A Chanel bag is a little more, I wouldn't even say on the realistic side, but I think if I were to achieve anything, I could achieve getting a Chanel bag, but not a, uh, not a Birkin for sure. So in my mind, I just really love that Chanel look, but I wanted a different designer option. I didn't want like a knockoff designer bag, which in turn, basically this is what it is, but we'll talk about that when we get there. But this Tory Burch, I love Tory Burch. I love their bags, their shoes, Everything I have from Tory Burch has held up really well. I think the only thing that I've destroyed by my fault are some Tory Burch flats. They were like my first pair of designer shoes when I got out of college, when I started reporting. And of course I'm walking all over carrying a big camera and a big tripod. I'm sweating and I'm just like walking on rocks, grass, the road, sidewalk, everywhere. So I added some major wear and tear to my shoes, but with their purses, but still great quality. I just shouldn't have worn them that way. But with this, I thought that I could still get that Chanel look with the Chanel inspired straps. I call them Chanel inspired because that's when I first saw those kind of straps. And also the flap. You know, I just, I really like that. And of course I wanted a nice neutral color so that I could wear this purse with a lot of different outfits. And I like that you can wear this long body. I do wish that they had double um, leather straps here on the chain. So, and maybe if I wanted, actually, I didn't even think about this. I could just wear the bag like this and I could actually get the top strap I have. I was actually looking for something very similar to a Chanel bag that has a strap on top, a little top handle. So, wow, so it's a really good thing. Like doing these types of videos actually really helped me out. So that's very nice. I'll give you a look on the inside. I would say my dream bag is the Chanel boy bag. That is like my ultimate dream. I was never really crazy about the classic flap, but with this, I feel like I'm getting a little mix of like a, a classic flap and I don't even know. I don't know all those Chanel names, but I think the one I thought this would be similar to would be like a Chanel 19 or something like that. I don't know. Um, but this is actually quite spacious. And even though it's small, I was decided between the small and the original size, like I guess the larger version. And I thought with me being really petite, I just thought that this was the perfect size for me. And I watched a ton of videos about it. I have to get up because I want to show you that even though this might look small, when you have it in person, it is actually quite spacious. And I saw a video, let me get this. 
And I saw a video that said you can fit a regular size plastic water bottle into the bag with like no effort. Like look, that was so easy to do. Now granted this is a, an empty bag right now, but if maybe I were going to the movie theater, you know, I could just bring my own water bottle. Uh, but anyways, like I still have room on top and then when I shut it, there is like, it's like nothing, right? So, so I really, so that to me was a sign that, okay, this is spacious enough for all of my needs in an everyday purse. And realistically, if I'm gonna put this, I transitioned out of my wallet back to the little coin pouch. So if I put that in the main compartment, I have a lip gloss that I actually took out. It's in a, is it in here? No, but let's say, uh, let's just say, pre let's pretend that I already have a little chapstick in there. I carry my Chanel lip balm in here. And then I have some gum that I just got. And I have a little thing of hand sanitizer. And then let's say, even though my phone is usually in my hand, I'm gonna put my phone in here. And perfect, it's nice. I keep wanting to carry it like this, even though I, like it's not gonna work. Um, so perfect fit to give you a look inside, check it out. You can see everything in there and I still have a little more room. So to me, for an everyday purse, I thought this would be perfect. I also like wearing nice purses with maybe like more casual outfit. I think it's just a really cute thing to have. Like if I were to have a real Chanel purse, that's exactly what I would do. So why not do it with this? Because it's good for every day, a night out. It's small enough. It's not too small and it's not too big. So that's why I thought this is a good size to make it either a night purse or a day purse. A purse to rent errands in while still looking amazing. So if I were to put this on for you and I need to back up for this, but look at that. That is just so cute. I love it so much. And while we are in the winter season, um, it is a little more difficult to wear this bag with a big bulky winter jacket, but it's not gonna stop me from using this. Even though Tory Burch is on the lower price end of designer pieces, this I got on a Black Friday sale or cyber, no, it wasn't Black Friday, it was a cyber week sale. And I actually had this in my cart for a while before the sale hit, cause I had been thinking, you know, I just wasn't sure. But when I saw it was on sale, I did even more research, let it sit in my cart. And then it was during that cyber week that I actually took the plunge and was like, you know what? I really do want this bag. So when it comes to bigger pieces like this, I obviously put more thought into it. And I just think this is a such a cute and classy addition to have in my purse collection. Okay, so the next purse I wanna talk about is the one from Amazon that I called a knockoff because if you watch one of my Vlogmas videos, you'll know that I had no idea this was basically an exact replica. <laughs> replica of the Hermes Kelly. I think that's what it's called. Let me check. The Hermes Kelly Mini, because also one thing I did not like when I unboxed this bag was how long this little like hook is for the straps here. And then when I finally did a little bit of research, I noticed that, wow, that's exactly how the Mini Kelly looks. Oops. So that just shows how much I know about big designer purses. So, so far, like I said, I've used this bag once and I actually use this one today when I'm shooting this video. And just like I mentioned about the Tory Burch, it was a little harder to use this one with, with a bigger coat or jacket on, but of course that's not gonna stop me to continue from using it. I at first wasn't sure about keeping this bag when I was waiting for it to get here and have it in my hands. But when I opened it and saw how everything was packaged so meticulously, I was like, wow, this is like, they're treating this like a very high end designer item. So when I got this bag, I got it for $65. And I don't know if it was part of a Black Friday sale, Cyber Monday sale, Cyber Week. I just know it was $65. And then when I went back to check it out, let's check. Price had went up last I checked to $85. And right now it is down to 75, 12% off. 
The, there are other color options that are cheaper. There's an orange one for 65, a beige one for 55, but the black one is the one that costs the most. They also have it in pink, red, and gray. So of course, as you saw with my unboxing in a previous Vlogmas video, it came with this little scarf to wrap around the handle. It also came with this little dog keychain that I probably won't use. And of course it comes with the strap. Oh, and this little piece right here with, which like a er real Hermes bag, it would come with a lock, I think it is. So I can't get it to hang in the front, so I just kind of put it in the back. I don't know, it's kind of worthless at this point. But here is a look at the inside. It is a very structured bag, but let's go ahead and fill it up with my everyday items in, for my everyday purse. So we've got the gum, we've got the hand sanitizer here. Oh, it also comes with a little pocket, which I showed in one of my previous videos, but I don't know if you can see it's back over here. At first I thought it was just super glued on, but it's actually stitched on really well. And then I've got my keys and coin pouch. Put that in here. And then I'm also going to stick my phone in there. And it all fits comfortably. So here's a look at the inside right there. And what I like about this bag is that I have a top handle. So what I would do in real life is 